I'm just making sure a few things are stable. There seems to be some dropped frames gone. We are here in front of an asteroid. We might be getting some drones close by. I'm gonna sit right here. and look for any kind of mineral. Oh, nickel's right there. I'm gonna put a GPS signal. First thing that I want to do is get my survival kit up and running on things that I want for a base. I'm going to press into my G menu here. And I'm going to go to Build Planner. I want to make six solar panels right off the bat. So, well, I can't put a blocks in that place, I can go into this, into my inventory, and I can say add components for the build planner to production queue. Press that. I could not put six into that. Let's see why not. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, it looks like I did get it in there. I don't know why they're saying I'm not. After that, I am going to look here. See what else I'm going to need. I'm going to want some light armor blocks. I want a survival kit. I want a basic assembler, basic refinery. Cargo container I already got. And that is about it for just starting me out. So, I'm going to go into production again, add those components. It says one component cannot be put into production. Looks like everything is in here. So, we are going to ignore that.
Okay. So. We need to mine. We got a pretty good asteroid here. Oh. So I'm going to get my uh, craft closer to it. third person we're gonna say this is up start mining rock if you press the T button while you're mining you should be collecting a lot of what you're mining the difficulty in zero G is that rocks will start flying away from So if you make sure you keep a uh, place that your mining contained, you shouldn't have as much trouble. I'm going to turn on my light to see where I am. just get as much rock as you can at this time. There's going to be a lot of mining. There you go. into the cargo container and then go into production. I'm going to start just making ingots. And when I make ingots, it will start making the ones that I have. While I'm waiting for that, I will just start collecting some more rock. And after I collect all the rock, I can mine some more. So, I 
Getting used to all this. Go in here, put that in there. Production's going. I'm gonna add a few more of these to get more ingots. ships to help mine and build stations and bigger ships. And once I've gotten a few of those things done, I am going to start flying to the various different planets and starting my own outposts on them. Throw some more stone in there. I have turned on drones. I have turned on cargo ships. I've turned on spiders and wolves. So I have made this place rather dangerous and I will be turning on asteroids, meteor showers. Um, as soon as I have some turrets around so I can defend myself. production going everything's going smooth and quickly start collecting the rest of these
good. Energy low. How's production going? It's going pretty well still. So we are just going to do some more stuff. Getting a military escort. Warning. Still far enough away, I'm not gonna. Don't feel like I need to hightail it out of here, luckily. But yes. If everything works out correctly. I should be uh, getting into some guns and some energy critical piratey stuff. Okay. My cargo container is completely full. So I'm gonna ah. Let's do that. I'm gonna recharge everything. Look at production here. Looks like we're almost done with production. I am going to add some steel plates. Throw the rest of that stone in there. And I'm going to grab the steel plate. All the stuff. All the stuff that I can. Whoa. Get on my. Now. Just find a good place with a good view for my outfit. So I think about right here is pretty good. That's four. And it's gonna set. I'm gonna set it straight. So three. Doesn't really do much other than help with the aesthetics. Put one up there. I'll add another layer. There we go. That looks like a good place to start. And it adds more blocks up. I can get the sun. Let's see, there's the sun. And 
the sun looks like it's flying. Maybe this way. So, I'm going to add some power. Double click it so that it will go regardless of if I'm working on it or not. Unfortunately, in space, what makes one part of this so hard is because you don't get the wind turbines that you get on the planets, which supply you with constant supply of energy. You need to make solar panels and batteries for when those solar panels do not have the sun. Turn that off. And now that I have started my outpost. I'm going to bring my ship over to the outpost. Get it pretty close. Good. Now, it has all the steel plate and everything that I have built. I'm going to put all the rest of this stuff. one more solar panel to this. And I'm going to set up my outpost here. The first thing I want is a refinery. basic refinery will allow me to 
refine the rock faster. And so I'm going to build this up. And then after the basic refinery is the basic assembler. Difficulty with the basic assembly. There it is. It only has one access point. So it can only set on the refinery. Once I find silver and get that put together, I can start manufacturing medical components and will then be able to uh, make a respawn place here. So the first thing I'm going to do is check how's my power going. I got 29 and climbing right now. I need 300 though. So I'm going to be having diff difficulty with power. I need to start a battery pretty soon. Go into my battery. Put it in my building planner. I can then go into inventory and say add components. So that starts the battery I just need. The ore, which means I need to start mining some more. Yes, this is a new start. It's a space start on single player. Uh, I was playing a multiplayer server, but things got hairy and I've lost pretty much everything. So instead of starting all over again, I've decided have a little more control over this. I have also turned on everything so I might run into some pirate facilities and cargo ships. I'm also going to be turning on asteroids but I don't want a hamstrung. I only just started playing this game. I am only on my second attempt. It is difficult. Yes, it is. There are a lot of tutorials out there to help you out. I know. I started this game when it was still in beta and it took me a while to figure out how to play this game. Uh, the best thing to do when starting is to start on Earth. Yes. Well. 
the the tediousness of the game at the beginning is just mining. Once you get some good mining ships, then you can start working a lot more on Stone, how's production going? Not enough power. Yes, it is a shame that um, your fur, your uh, the vehicles in this game are just not take a lot of work to figure out. Um, playing in multiplayer servers, I have figured out not to start with a wheeled vehicle, um, basically because I can't just quick save, quick restart when my vehicle flips over and there's absolutely nothing to do but tear it down and start building it again. Uh, so one thing I figured out is start with um, arrow thruster drilling machine. Yeah. Uh, I've learned to start with a atmospheric thruster um, inventory is full okay logistics let me What I have figured out was to start with an atmospheric thruster. Get about six pushing you up. And get a couple on both, on all the different directions that you're going to fly with. And just start working on putting as much weight as you can on it to see what the limit is and about two batteries do very well as long as you can stand a long um, recharge time on a multiplayer server it's not that big a deal because you just log off and it will recharge while you're offline hopefully Other than that, wheeled vehicles are very, very difficult. And learning the incline and not pushing yourself too fast will help you out. So, anyway. I'm going to start a battery here. Energy critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy is critical. I am also looking at atmosphers, but for a moment I can use this vehicle to mine a bit more than by hand slowly. Yeah.
good stuff to start out the game is to bring your inventory up all the way and put all your efficiencies up so you can just quickly get through a bunch of stuff. Uh, the unknown signals that you will see occasionally um, in their cargo they may also have upgrades to your drills and your welders and allow you to get things a lot faster. So I was going to go in here since now I am down to one power and I'm going to recharge before I start dying. Yeah. Skins and cash and that stuff. Um, the skins part always has, a, I always have a problem with the skins part. I like the skins. Uh, the problem is that it's still a roulette wheel and sometimes you get there and you're not going to get any skin whatsoever. And they're like, sorry, try again. And it's like, well, I'm here going out of my way to find you and sometimes you're going to get a thruster on it or something that's going to make it harder and harder to get out and you're going to get a lot of um, repeats okay put a battery on here it helps a lot now I know that my current input is 534. Current output is only 2 kilowatts, and so in about 4 hours I'll be recharged. So. I'm just going to throw this stuff in. And I need silver for medical component for survival. My survival kit. And so I need to start surveying the asteroids around me. Let's see, does this one have a detector in it? Yes, it has the detector components. Oh. I need iron and nickel for detector. So I'm going to go to my ore detector, build planner. I want a big detector. I can look for ore on this moon. I'm going to add components here so I can start production on that. The difficulty is that your uh, drill only have a very, very small range 
in ore detection. I found nickel right down here. But you have to get pretty close to find it. If I put an ore detector on a ship or a vehicle, uh, those I can increase the range. Um, and what I am planning to do, and I'll probably have to mine some more to get that done. Yeah, I'll need some more items. But I'll put a big ore detector on my ship, and that should uh, be able to locate ore pretty quickly. And then all I have to do is fly around the different asteroids and find the stuff. Um, since rock gets you some of the stuff, uh, you don't always have to go searching for ore at the beginning. But to get silver, uh, gold, uh, you will need to find actual prop places for it. Silver gets you your medical components. I think it helps in a few things. Gold, I can't even remember what gold gets you now. Uh, oh, and that's right. Your basic assembler doesn't refine silver. I will need to put get a bigger res assembler going for that too. So I will need to get my uh, get refinery going too. I can Get that stone started. Production. Reason why I'm using the build planner right now is once you finally get your assembler, you can actually tell it to. That's right. If you keep pressing the F button, you will pick up some ore as well as scatter it. So, uh, with your assembler, you can actually tell it to make a certain block and it will just make all the components. But with your basic assembler and survival kit, you put it into your build planner and from your inventory, you can tell it to make the stuff. So I put a refinery in there, go into my inventory and then say add components for the refinery and that will start the refinery stuff. And I have everything for ore detector, I believe. Yeah. 
not the uh, nicest thing. Let's fire this up. See if we can find something. 150 meters. We're seeing the nickel. Put it on third so that I can make sure I don't bump. Anything. This is going fast. I'm gonna fly off to this other asteroid. Dampeners off in space to conserve fuel. Eyeball it. Getting close, getting close. Initial dampeners on. The third person view. Look where I'm going. Let's flip back to first person here. I have made one crucial mistake. Oh, there's iron. I did not put a GPS signal on my base. Okay. I did not put a GPS on my thing, on my uh, outpost, which means I have to eyeball it. Luckily, I did set another GPS on that asteroid. Because unless you have beacons and antennas up and on, GPS signals are the 
only way you can find things after you found them first. I'm going to put space iron here. Space allows me to know that it's in space, so when I start going on to the planets. Also going to right click to pulverize the uh, stone. I don't need to get any more stone right now. I'm just going to get the iron. And since you need a lot of iron in everything you're going to make, finding an iron deposit is really good. my ship. Also good to keep a GPS signal on your ship or a beacon on your ship. I'm gonna just put that into the cargo right now. fly back and tag my outpost. There it is, and because I did not hit dampeners too far, I'm going to say bye bye outpost. <laughs> Good tip never point directly at any of the asteroids that you are uh, attempting to fly towards. You don't slow down well enough, it's going to hurt you. Okay. Get it close. Stay out of the way so that my Solar panels don't get blocked. Okay. 
put on third person to kind of get, get as close as I can. You may notice also I can use my jetpack pretty well out here in space. On Earth, you can use it very sparingly, but in space, you're pretty much going to be flying around a lot. And there's no gravity holding you down. Collect some more stone and see how production's gone. Your refinery takes a lot of stuff. part that's really bad is once you get a mining ship that you can fly around in and you're just barely keeping it because it's weighted down so much, you get close to that connector that you're going to connect to on your base and all of a sudden it starts falling down like a rock and you can't stop it. I've had, well, this actually happened to me when I was mining out in space and coming back to a planet. I was flying directly towards my base and everything was going pretty well. But then I hit, I started slowing down and I wasn't slowing down. And I clipped my solar panels. And I had half a ship. Luckily, most of the stuff wasn't damaged. I could essentially put enough thrusters on it to get it out. But I learned pretty quickly I have to go really, really slow in a lot of that stuff. Yep. For when I mine the asteroids, I put a hut of unfinished blocks across the hole so the shucks don't fly away. That is a good way of doing it. Another way that you can do it is to mine in. And once you've gotten in a ways, to start going sideways a little bit. Uh, 
and that way you got a lot more ceiling and stuff around you. Just came in to see you failing at SE. <sighs> I haven't gotten the concept of flight very well done, so you will see me crash a few times. Luckily, I've... well... I haven't found any ice. And so later episodes might have me uh, really uh, gasping for air. Come on. Oh, inventory is full. <sighs> I think for the next time I'm going to just up. I have all my... Uh, All my container blocks here just full of, um, with the initial amount. My personal inventory is 10 times. So I think I might want to bump that up so that I'm not running into the bottlenecks like I am next. Okay, so the refinery seems to be building pretty well. Some traders do sell ice and oxygen. I haven't even looked at the data pad yet to figure out what I have found in the area. I did put a ore detector on my ship, which just sticks out. So, when I do go surveying some asteroids, I'll be able to do that. Right now, I want to get a refinery. Um, put together, and then I can do some surveying of asteroids to find silver. I got enough stuff here to start putting our finery down. Mm. I like to connect everything together, but right now I'm just going to stick a refinery here. I'll put an assembler next to it.
<sighs> Go back up here. Into my ship so I can recharge my energy. Not paying attention to energy critical gets me. Oh, well, last time I was down to one energy when I started to recharge. So, let's check on my stuff here. Production is almost done. I am missing that. Okay, metal grids are cobalt. Another thing you do not get when you are mining. I'm going to throw the rest of that stuff in here. I don't want to sell with my ship yet. Oh. Let's flip around. Come on. Let's first look at our data pad here. Villagers are plucking the fruits by selling their findings at a nearby station. Now their stock is overflowing. If you're looking for a good deal for work, then this is the place to go. Create a marker. CLCO. Throw that back in the flight seat. Let's see, I don't know what CLCO is, which faction that is. Let's see. It is on the planet surface, so I'm not going to be doing that until I get hydrogen. But I will start flying to some of these asteroids to figure out what we have. Shoot. Who's that? That's a little girl that doesn't know that daddy's streaming.
So. Oh, there's silver. So I'm getting the luck of the streamer right now. And since I don't have an antenna, I... There it is. Find and drill the silver. Once I have the silver, I will be able to make medical components and be able to respawn back at my base. So, I guess one question I have for all the people watching is, how long have you been playing Space Engineers? I have been playing since the beta off and on, which means I play for a while, I get frustrated, and I go off to play another game. Then I come back. We have had about four hours. We've had about a year. That's good. How are you liking the economic update? the economics but it's a little unbalanced yeah okay I have found some silver is where my outpost is.
Is there a second thing here? A nickel. Ah, turn on dampeners. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put in space silver so I can remember where it is. I'm going to go back to my outpost. Looking low on fuel. I have been searching for some uh, good multiplayer platforms to play on. But a lot of the ones that I find are either dead or they don't really have active administrators. So a bug happens and uh, you can log on, but you start flying through the world. Yep, it can get laggy pretty quickly. And pistons and rotors and projectors make it so laggy that you really just want to find the person to use it and start a Scorched Earth campaign. Which is, the pistons, rotors, and projections are what makes Space Engineers stand out. Oh, now. It's on this asteroid. going on here. Ooh. Well, I don't think I'll be using this ship for a while. Okay, just turn on some dampener so I can get close.
Okay. Hmm. Okay, turn the dampeners on. Let's calm down. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, and my ship is floating away. Let's see. Let us start by saving the ore detector. Yeah, I will need to spin it to get. Oh, come on, dampeners. I'm going to get the survival kit off of this too. Let everything fly away. Now dampeners are on. And my gyroscope is gone. <laughs> I don't know what it was that hit this. Let's put on mad boots. the gyroscope even be on this ship. There it is. And that really just... Okay. Um, I'm just going to salvage what I can and... I guess fly home. In the past, I ground the whole thing down and made a small grid version to get on. Okay. 
I need metal gears. I'm gonna throw all this stuff into my assembler. that in the refinery. I don't have room for that. I don't think the ship has gone that far out. Well, looks like I am now completely stranded in space. Is that it? There it is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that on there. And I don't know if this is still f is it floating. No, I don't think so. I'm going to just hopefully get my cargo container. Got my cargo container here. You'll need. Okay. I can still salvage this. Hopefully the freighter will stay right there if I need any more parts. Small cargo container. O2 generator. Put this right there so that no. he 
Yep, that's what I did, so I think that will work. While I'm at it, I haven't actually marked my outpost here. Okay, get that done. Get this. On to and so. Everything in there. And looks like I will be doing a salvage operation on my ship. I really need. Let's just, while we're here, regenerate. Yes, I'm just going to start. I got ice, so I got oxygen still. And next thing I need is a respawn point. motors Oh 
Okay, I need metal grids for my refinery here. Did I happen to pick up some metal grids? I will make another trip to my freighter and see if there's still some metal grids left. The thrusters don't have metal grids. Hydrogen engine, engine doesn't. Okay. Well, since I don't have any metal grids on the ship, I will throw this stuff in here. And I will spend my time surveying asteroids. I did make this high density, so there should be a bunch of asteroids nearby. So, a question to the viewers, is there anything that you would like to see me try in a future stream in Space Engineers? Okay, I'm just going to announce what I'm going to look for and the game is going to translate what I say into an asteroid that is going to have it in it.
Energy is low. And here we are. Let's go into my basic refinery. I need metal permits. Energy critical. Get the energy up. Now I have made a refinery. And my batteries are not going. See, I got ten minutes of streaming left to do. Mary get some steel plate if I still have some. A set up place. So I can start building a ship in the future. Since I do have th thruster components. Okay. Since I'm just going to be winding down here, let's say the goals of this stream, I'm going to be trying to do Space Engineers every Friday. Hopefully uh, do some preparing in-game 
during the week, do some tedious mining and some stuff like that. So you don't have to always see that going on. Uh, I do want to try to expand up and make a station, especially when I find the uranium and everything. Once I have got myself with a few ships and some other stuff, I want to try to find some cargo ships and some pirate bases and try my hand at attacking and probably dying a lot. I also want to try to land on every single planetary body. So, if there is anything else that you would like to see me try and probably fail at, just let me know. I do stream on Mondays and Wednesdays at about the same time. But right now I'm trying to go through Amnesia the Dark Descent, uh, mostly as a Halloween themed. And I hopefully it's enough. I'm not going to scare myself to death doing that. Uh, other games that I'm very much interested in, I play some Warframe, but haven't quite figured out how to um, how I'm going to stream that. Um, I also want to get into Kerbal Space Program, probably uh, crash a few times and then maybe land on the moon in Mimbus. So that is about all I have time for today. So I will say goodbye and thank you for watching.